Hi everyone, in this video here, I'm gonna show you how to attach the appliques to fabric that you have purchased. When you open your applique kit, you're gonna have, perhaps this is our, um, I don't know exactly how to say it, the Triscale uh, kit right here. Um, and these are available in whatever color you've chosen and in, in sets of one, three, or six, depending upon what it is you wanna put it on. Tonight, I'm gonna to actually use, um, show you how to put it on the Viking hood kit so that, because it's one of the easiest things to work with. Um, what I'm going to do for my design is I'm gonna actually apply the applique to the gores. Um, I think that looks really rather nice because it means that you have the applique de decoration right here in the front of the hood. Um, and it's pretty simple, and it's pretty easy to do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually take a moment and we're gonna move the camera so that you can see here on the table. What I've done is I'm gonna go ahead and go take my ruler from point to point, and I want to just draw a light line with my piece of chalk. I'm going to do the same thing the other direction, uh, and what I'm looking for here is just a square that will be, um, what I've done here is I've marked, hopefully you can see that, the actual absolute middle of the fabric. And that's where I'm going to be laying down the um, Triscale, just to let me know exactly where it's going to be. You can double check that when you go to lay this down by actually measuring from each corner and seeing that they are the, you know, again, that it's centered on your piece. Notice that I'm actually going to apply the applique before I sew the hood together. It's easier to do it that way. If you're nervous about making the hood, however, you may want to go ahead and make the hood first and then do this. You can do it really either direction. It just depends upon which area that you're more um which area kind of makes you more nervous. One of the things that you'll have with the applique, after I've marked this, I know where it wants to go, is that there's sort of this paper on the back. You're gonna actually take this paper off. It's really easy. The paper actually uncovers um, what I've already pre-applied for you is um, an adhesive backing that's actually applied with your iron. And this way, what we're gonna end up doing here, we're gonna pull off that adhesive backing lay this down where I've marked it and press it with the iron really well and that will activate the glue and then this Triscale will be attached to the fabric. That means that it won't shift or it won't move while you're sewing it and while you're working with it. Um, it's actually even an authentic method. What they did in a period is they would use like rabbit glue that they would paint on the bottom of their appliques and put it down and then hand sew it on. You're gonna do this exactly, and you can either sew this on the machine or you can sew this by hand. If you decide you wanna sew it by hand, go to the video on hand sewing and they will, um, and I'll walk you through the appropriate stitch there. But I'm gonna show you how to do it on the machine tonight. But to take this off, um, the easiest way to do it is actually I'm gonna kind of tear this, hopefully you can see me do this, tear it at an angle. And you'll notice that then um, this piece of, of paper comes up. While I'm pulling this off, you want to make sure that this shiny glue part stays. If it starts to come off a little bit, just, you know, press it back on with your hand. Um, it does that a little bit, um, but it should come off really very, very easily. I'm over here at my ironing table, and I actually have my iron at my highest setting. Hopefully you can see that. And I have laid down here, um, I have laid down here, the Triscale actually centered on the piece here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my iron and I'm gonna just go ahead and press it. Now, what you can see is that the Triscale is actually totally glued down on all sides. You do wanna double check and make sure that you don't have any sides that are sticking up. If you do um, or loose, you're gonna go ahead and just um, press it back down there but at this point it is adhered to the fabric. Okay, what I'm hopeful that you can see is where I have my needle placed, which is right on the edge of this purple here that we're sewing down or appliquing down. And you can also see where I've already done um, this outside edge. Again, that blanket stitch is just coming over and sort of locking down the purple onto the black fabric. Okay, so when we're done sewing, as you can see, we have the whole applique sewed down. Again, the whole way, I'm gonna move this really close. 
uh, with that blanket stitch, but if it was an, um, a zigzag stitch, you could use that as well. And now we will have this applique on the front of our hood.